The Bendigo 5,120 metres handicap, the semi-finals run earlier this afternoon. And now to look at heat number one, here's Michael John. We're ready now for the first semi-final of the Bendigo 5,000. On the far side in the red jacket, R.A. Kersoff running from four metres. John Evans last year's winners in the white from five metres. In the blue, R.P. Roll five and a half metres. In the yellow, I.P. Marchesi, eight and three quarter metres. And the limit man in the race, Mark Thomas of nine and a half in the green jacket. They're in the... In the starter's hands, over now to Eddie Bush for his call. This is the first semi final. Semi final. They're on their way now, and Mark Casey, it is that began well. Thomas out in front, though. Further back behind him, then as Wolf followed on by Kersoff and Evans. Mark Casey gets to the front, Kersoff going home hard. Mark Casey in the yellow, Kersoff and the red at the completion of the first semi final. Today, Robert? Well, they're pretty similar to yesterday, actually. They're very much back running difficult. Track in beautiful condition. I've never seen it better. It's just. The wind makes a difference. Back marker in the second semi final, John Ford, three and three quarter metres in the red jacket. In white, G.J. Tooney from five metres in the blue, S.J. Foreman. J. Armstrong in yellow, of eight and a quarter. Chris Brown in green, nine and a quarter. Over now to Eddie Bush. Chris Brown, it is away from Jeff Armstrong, further back to Foreman, followed by Toomey, then further to Ford, taking up the running in the centre as Foreman, but Ford coming home too well for them, and the young amateur Ford has taken it out. Now in the third semi-final, the back marker is D.W. O'Brien in the red, three and a quarter metres. Chris Pegg is off four and three quarter metres in white. A.J. Grimer, the favourite, is in blue. Of six metres, GW Kendall, another good runner in yellow, of six and a half metres, and the limit man is HJ Karatz, of nine metres. Fastest qualifier of these semi finalists uh, is AJ Grimer, the runner in the blue jacket. He's the one to watch, and I think it'll be a race between AJ Grimer in blue and the runner in yellow, which is GW Kendall. Over now to Eddie Bush. They're on their way, and Aiden Crutz, it is away from Kendall, further back to Grimer, who began well. Then further to Peg, followed on by O'Brien. Kendall that is out in front. Grimer can't get to him, and Kendall's going to have an easy victory. Easing down Kendall from Grimer at the completion of that, the third semi. Well, the third semi final of the Bendigo 5000. Glenn Kendall. Glenn, that was a pretty impressive win. You seem to have them covered uh, almost halfway down the track. Oh, I felt good. It's a beautiful track to run on. It's just like running on camper. And got a good start out of the blocks. Haven't covered pretty well from the start. This will be an interesting semi-final, and my uh, favoured runner, Andrew Douglas, was very impressive yesterday in the heats, the back marker, Andrew Douglas in red, three and a quarter, to be hard-pressed by M.A. Crimson in the white from four and a half metres. Over to Eddie Bush. They're on their way, and we are this away from Beaton, further back to start, followed on then by Crimson, then Douglas in the red. Gary Weir is nicely clear, then coming at him is Chris Starr. Chris Starr it is that gets to the front, Starr it is away from Weir at the completion of that, the fourth semi. For a moment, Chris, I thought about Douglas and Weir had your meter, but in the end you seem to do it fairly comfortably. Yes, um, I could feel coming up towards the end, but I still had enough left to kick on and close with that run. Five starters have missed the fifth semi-final, and the favoured runner is probably the yellow Trevor Smith, and another good runner, the red, J.W. Thompson. Ready now in the fifth semi-final, over to Eddie Bush. They're on their way on the fifth and final uh, semi in the state bank, and Smith has broken down. Jim Thompson, the back mark, as he's in front already, and Jim Thompson, it is out in front. Whitehead, it is in second place. But Jim Thompson, the easiest semi-final victory you'd ever see. But Jim, that was... A very, very easy win indeed. Yeah, I'm very pleased with that, Shane. Um, I think we knew they'd run after we came across here to Santa Fe. We tied the media on Friday. Uh, flying across and driving up. Got a run yesterday and feel good today.